Have you made a mistake by saying something and making someone disappointed or someone get hurt by what you say, but you're being good enough to say sorry? Hi, I'm Shabir from Team Shabir Agri. If it's the first time in my YouTube channel, you can subscribe to get notified for my future videos. You see, as a human being, we all make mistakes. We all make mistakes, we all say something that we don't even mean it. But what's important? To say sorry, to be honest. From bottom of your heart, say sorry that you made mistake. And the other side needs to forgive. What if we don't forgive? If someone said sorry to you and if you don't forgive, guess what happens? It just hurts you. Because the, the person made a mistake, been honest with you, and says, hey, I'm sorry, no one is perfect. I made a mistake. And then you say no. It hurts you. It's best to let go. But if you don't let go, hold on to it. And it's keep hurting you. We are human beings. We are a human being that we constantly make mistakes. Doesn't matter, no one is perfect. If someone made a mistake and said sorry to you, forgive them. To me, through my journey, people said a lot of things to me. People said things intentionally and hurted me badly. And it was hurting me. Why? Because I was holding on to it. And I was keep thinking about it. And I was just asking how I can get my revenge. And then I realized and I learned that it's best to let go because it's hurting me. The person what said yesterday or the day before or last week or last month, that person doesn't even know I'm thinking about it and I'm just hurting myself now. It's best to let go. Let go to grow. And I, I just let go of those people. I just forgive those people. I know. I'm not trying to change them. They don't change unless they make a decision to change. But what they said to me, what they did to me, I forgive them. It's okay. It's best. It's best to let go. And let's go to listen to this five minutes video. Love to share it with you. So powerful. It is so powerful. You heard from me now. Let's go and listen to this video. Hopefully. What I said here, or you hear from this video, can give you some perspective about letting go and forgiveness. If not, well, can't do more than that. Thank you. Be happy. Live with passion. Enjoy your life. And let go. Stop hating others. When you hate others, when you're jealous about others, when you don't feel good about others, you're just blocking the door to your face. Blocking the happiness, the kindness, the laugh from this life. You're just blocking on yourself. It's best to forgive and let go. Thank you and bye for now. See, a lot of folk won't let you forget what you used to do or what you have done, what mistakes you've made. All of us have made some mistakes in life. All of us have done some things that if we had them to do over again, we wouldn't do it again. A lot of things that if I had it to do over again, if I knew then what I know now, I would have done it differently. Well, it didn't happen that way. I didn't do it like that. Oh, you don't want me to live that down. You want to keep on putting that in my face about what I did. Guess what? I'm not interested. When you permit things to use you, you can't change the past, but you can interpret. You can reinterpret how you see it. For years, I was going around with a heavy load on my shoulders, feeling bad because I was adopted, doing interviews for adoption agencies and foster homes. And I was on television once and I, I t told these people in this particular interview that I was given away, my twin brother and I, when we were six weeks of age. A friend of mine fortunately was listening to the program. And she said, Les, I'd like to have lunch with you. And so I went over to see her. 
She said, when a woman carries a baby for nine months, feeling that life movement in her, it's automatic and natural for her to learn to love that baby, to expect it to come here when she bears the pain to bring it into the world. Your mother, Mamie Brown, when she came in to adopt you guys, she didn't go through that process. She looked at whoever your biological mother was and said, I'll take her. You weren't given away less. You were chosen with love. Same event, but reinterpreted. An interpretation that empowers me. So when you begin to look at your past, give an interpretation that empowers you. That's where I used to be. That's not where I am now. I'm growing in your mind right now. Think about some particular event or act in your life that you feel very bad about, that you really regret that that took place. If you had to do over again, you would do it differently. With that there, I want you to see yourself in your mind's eye and say to yourself, I love myself unconditionally and I forgive myself. If I knew better, I would have done better. Let me tell you something about the mind, how it uses you. I'll tell you something super stupid that I used to do. Do you know for years, I hated my mother and my father, whoever they were, because they gave me away, as I thought at that point in time? And guess what? I didn't have any faces for the hatred, because I never saw either one of them. And I said, I hate them for that. And then once I forgave them and said, it's okay, had they not given me away, I would have never been blessed to have the mother that I have. But when I went through this process, saying forgive them, I remember in my mind as I was trying to picture these people, I had two individuals in my mind standing there with no faces because I didn't know how they look. But I released that. I let that luggage go. Think about somebody that you've hurt, somebody that you've disappointed, either deliberately or inadvertently, or someone that has hurt you, that caused you some pain, caused you some disappointment, somebody that you don't like. Deliberately or inadvertently, think about them. Somebody that, that you really, really, when you think about them, the, the room turns red and say, I forgive you. I forgive you unconditionally. Whew, boy, that's a heavy load to let off. Reinterpreting our past, understanding and knowing that we can move from where we are. That we can begin to design the kind of life that empowers us, that gives us happiness, that enable us to be on top of who we are. Knowing that as we begin to explore new horizons and new vistas in life, that as we begin to, to focus on developing ourselves, as we begin to elevate ourselves and not to follow the crowd, activating the thinker in us and dis disciplining and putting on hold the emotional part of ourselves, it's not easy, but through practice and practice and practice, practice makes what? Absolutely not. Dismantle that belief system. Practice makes improvement. You can always better your best. You can always go beyond anything that you have ever done. You never hit a state of perfection. You're always bigger than what you do. And so all you're looking for are new breakthroughs through practice and practice and practice. You'll get better and better and better. And there's still some things that will happen to you that will catch you on the blind side that you did not anticipate. You'll get knocked down, but you won't be knocked out. You'll be able to get to your feet again, be on the ropes, but you have a fast recovery rate when you work on yourself. What are the things that you must overcome? What qualities about your personality you know that you're going to have to change because those particular characteristics are liabilities to you? What are your assets? What are your strong points? Look at and evaluating yourself to make that determination.